Hello everybody, my name is Shashank Shekhar, Master Teacher of Mathematics at Vedantu. We are presenting solutions for J Advanced 2020 Paper 2. I have taken a question of priority from the paper. Let's have a look at the problem. It says two fair dice each with faces number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are rolled together and the sum of the numbers on the faces is observed. Obviously the sum can be from 2 to 12. Right. This process is repeated till the sum is either a prime number or a perfect square. So prime numbers in this category can be 2, 3, 5, 7 or 11. Perfect square can be 4 or 9. Isn't it? It further says, suppose the sum turns out to be a perfect square before it turns out to be a prime number. Okay, it is also given. Right. If capital P is a probability that this perfect square is an odd number, then the value of 14 P is. Okay, before uh, finding the entire process, let us define a few events here related to the problem. I am going to define event A that we are getting. perfect square that is 4 or 9 now 4 can come in uh, 3 ways either 1 or 3 1 and 3 3 and 1 2 and 2 9 can come in 4 ways um, 3 6 6 3 4 5 5 4 so what is the probability of getting perfect square it is obviously 7 upon 36 clear uh, event b getting prime so what are the possibilities for prime 2 3 5 7 or 11 and probability of getting prime would be for 2 there is 1 way, for 3 there are 2 ways, for 5 uh, there are uh, 4 ways, ok, 1, 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, for 7 there are 6 ways, for 11 there are 2 ways, in that way you will see that it would be 15 upon 36. It may happen that we are not getting A or B neither the perfect square nor the prime it may happen so p a bar intersection b bar would be basically 1 minus p a minus p b so this is also important to find here so that would be 1 minus 7 minus by 36 minus 15 upon 36 that would be 14 upon 36 now uh, i am going to define one more event here event uh, a1 now a1 is getting odd perfect square because in the last uh, line of the question final capital p is representing probability of getting odd perfect square and the container for this is only 9 and uh, this can the sum can be 9 in 4 ways so the probability of a1 would be 4 upon 36 right now um, moving to the next page two things are important here see uh, we should get first the probability of getting perfect square before prime and probability of getting odd perfect square before prime and the answer would definitely be the ratio of those two probabilities Obvious, uh, obviously isn't it so uh, probability of uh, I mean uh, perfect square before prime so thinking of the usual procedure how can this happen it can happen like this Think about the story. 
at the first row we are getting perfect square itself perfect square there were seven ways seven upon thirty six or it may happen that we are not getting perfect square nor the prime that was fourteen upon thirty six and next time we are getting perfect square that is seven upon thirty six or it may happen that we are not getting perfect square or prime for the first two throws and in the third throw we are getting perfect square that is 7 upon 36 so unlimited terms here and uh, using the formula a upon 1 minus r you will see that the formula for infinite gp i mean will get 14 upon 36 so here finally 7 upon 22 for this next we need to find a perfect square which is odd before prime so it should be what was it uh, 4 upon 36 odd perfect square means 9 and 9 can come in 4 ways 3663 4554 isn't it then again writing in the same manner 14 upon 36 neither the perfect square nor prime for the first time and for the second throw in the second throw we are getting odd perfect square that is 14 upon 36 in the same manner 14 upon 36 first two throws not getting anything uh, I mean perfect square or prime in the third throw we are getting or perfect square that is 4 upon 36 and so on so here when we calculate it using the same formula a upon 1 minus r you will get 4 upon 36 upon 1 minus 14 upon 36 that would be um, 4 upon 22 obviously the answer for capital P is the ratio of these two 14 upon 22 upon 7 upon 22 it is very clear from the question and uh, the final answer to this problem that is 14 P would be and here we are getting 4 by 7 would be 14 into 4 by 7 that is 8 so 8 must be the final answer to this question I hope you understood Ah, uh, yeah one more thing I must say we can solve however this question in a very easy easier manner I'm telling you how verbally we can solve it there is one more approach because we are um, uh, like uh, we can see here a very special thing I'm showing you see uh, what is there in the question it says process repeated till the sum is either prime or a perfect square again it says sum turns out to be perfect square before it turns out to be prime means the final most given event is the process is ended with perfect square it is sure like the given we have to stick to the given event now so there are how many total possibilities for the process to end there are seven possibilities it end, it can end with uh, getting four as sum or getting nine as sum so for four there were uh, three ways in which the sum can be four one three three one two two and for nine there are four ways so i mean uh, the probability that this perfect square is an odd number so out of those two nine should uh, probability of getting nine is the federal cases are for nine are four cases and total cases were three plus four seven so capital p must be four by seven directly are you getting it means uh, 
we need actually method two. You can write probability of. I mean, I had also defined on the first page a and a one. A one was getting odd profit square. A was getting profit square. Process is ended at profit square. That is to be sure. So we need to find a one given a obviously, and that is a one intersection a divided by a. Using the usual formula of uh, conditional probability, p a one upon p a, that is n a one upon n a, n a one was um, um, four, getting nine, and uh, getting four or nine, it was three plus four. That is four upon seven, so the answer must be fourteen p. That is fourteen into four by seven. That is eight. Very easily, right? So I mean, uh, prime is nothing to do with this. Uh, so this is the way in which we can get the solution very easily. And uh, what I I discussed. I explained is here written also the type form. You can go through the, with this also. And the method two is explained here in short. So I hope you understood the solution. Stay tuned for the next question. Thank you.